Hi, this is Anthony Grino with a review on Firefox 33, which was released on October 14, 2014. As part of Mozilla's rapid release updates that occur once every six weeks, Firefox 33 is the latest stable release. So let's explore what's new in Firefox 33. Bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities have become commonplace with these Firefox updates, and Firefox 33 includes over 3,400 um, bug fixes. Um, there are some new features that uh, have been implemented in Firefox 33, and one of them is Open H.264 support in WebRTC, or Web Real-Time Communication. I'm not going to get too technical about this, but you can read the details in Andrew's blog post, and I'll leave a link in the description section of this YouTube video. But essentially, it's a software library for real-time encoding and decoding uh, video streams in this particular format. So H.264 is the most widely used codec or compressor, but it can be subject to royalties. So Cisco has agreed to distribute um, a free H.264 codec plugin, and uh, you'll probably not notice this, but uh, once you download Firefox 33, you'll see this uh, uh, H2, Open H.264 video codec plugin installed. Um, moving on, Firefox 33 provides a faster and improved search experience via the location bar. And um, for example, if uh, in Firefox 32, if I typed in this location bar, if I type in number, you know, let's, let's say a, a telephone number 905-202-6212 in this case, um, and hit return or the uh, go icon, click the go icon, it will try, um, you know, looking for HTTP uh, colon double slash and the number and then try connecting to that and then in a few seconds you will get this uh, timeout error message. Um, in Firefox 33 that has changed and um, basically when you do the same thing um, as it enter that number in the location bar it'll actually give you immediately a search result as you can see. So that is definitely an improvement and uh, another improvement in search is search suggestions. So these basically are in the Firefox homepage and the new tab page. So this is the Firefox, uh, you know, start page or homepage. And for example, if, it, if I type in Firefox in here in this um, search box, uh, you won't see any suggestions. This is Firefox 32. In Firefox 33, as you can see, if I type Firefox, it actually gives me some suggestions in there. Um, and this is um, both in the start or home page as well as the uh, the new tab page. So if you open a new tab and uh, you know type in uh, Firefox in the search box. Uh, other new features um, uh, include the off main thread compositing um, or it's called OMTC. Um, and you can read uh, you know more of the details in Benoit's uh, blog. Again, I'll leave a description or the link in the description section of this YouTube video. But essentially, uh, what OMTC does is uh, it provides a smoother browsing experience while consuming less resources. And this is basic, basically accomplished by adding a second thread um, in order to make the main thread loop more efficient. So let's move on. Uh, Firefox 33 um, includes improvement uh, in the reliability of the search or the session restore um, feature in Firefox. And if you've closed Firefox after upgrading the browser or installing an add-on or you had a browser crash, uh, you will notice this uh, restore previous session button on the Firefox chart or home page. And uh, this feature uh, you know, has been improved by keeping smart backups and you will notice um, in the Firefox folder, uh, or the profile folder, you will notice uh, you know a new folder there with new uh, backup files. So basically, basically it helps uh, you know more efficient uh, backups and, and restores. Some of the other uh, new features um, and changes in Firefox 33 are uh, slimmer and faster JavaScript strings. Um, JavaScript strings are used for storing and manipulating text and Mozilla has optimized Latin one strings to save memory and improve uh, the performance. Uh, the next one is uh, they've included support for connecting to HTTP proxy over an HTTPS um, 
and again that may be too technical um, but uh, you know you, you would know what I'm talking about if you understand that um, the other one is the new content security policy or CSP uh, which has been enhanced since it was first introduced in Firefox 4. Uh, basically, um, CSP helps limit the risk for, of cross-site scripting attacks uh, by allowing sites to show where the content can be downloaded from. Uh, there are several new features to uh, for the developers, and again, I'm not going to get uh, into those ones, uh, but you can check all the Firefox 33 um, uh, you know, release uh, notes uh, which inc basically includes all the new features, changes, and improvements uh, in this particular upgrade. As usual, uh, you know, I ran a browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper, and overall, um, there was a positive improvement in performance compared to the previous Firefox version. Uh, but when compared to Google Chrome, as you can see, Google Chrome continues to outperform overall. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, you're up to date uh, on the Firefox 33 upgrade. Um, and I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, you will find many more uh, Firefox help tutorials and reviews on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.